Hello, I'm Chris from Nintendo Gamer and today I'm going to be showing you Learn With Pokemon Typing Adventure. It's thrilling to the core. Um, this isn't an unboxing video because I hate those, but I need to take it out of the box. That is the um, it's imperative. Um, so I'll do it really quickly. You've got your game, Learn With Pokemon Typing Adventure. Hello. And you get a stand for your DS or DS, uh, DSi XL. Very smart. It goes like so. Boop. Um, and you get your Nintendo wireless keyboard, which is thrifty and nifty um, in equal measure. There you go. Um, how this works is you switch your game on. Boop. Like so. Put some volume on it. Ding. Start the game. And the intention is that you set your keyboard in front of it like so and turn it on, I'll turn this down so you can keep your me still. Turn it on, press any key. Do, 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 do. Job done and there you have it. Awesome. Um, okay, I'm going to quickly show you how this game works and how it looks in motion. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so here's your main game, Learn with Pokemon type of adventure, exciting stuff. You press any key to start. Now, all your different um, areas in the game are based on this keyboard. So you've got, if you press D, you go to D Rocky Pass or Drocky Pass if you're a fool. Um, I'm going to quickly show you this tab, never ending tab track, just because that's the best way to show the game off. Um, Pokemon will appear and you have to type their name quickly. Um, if you can type their name before their name appears, you get extra points. So it helps if you know your Pokemon. Now I'm going to be an idiot here because I'm talking while typing, as you can see. Now, who is this idiot? This is Petalil. And then, is this... Yeah. Is this that one again? So yeah, I mean, it gets faster as you play. No. And if you make a mistake, it does a runner. Oh. So yeah, that's about it. And it keeps going on until you fail. So it's good. I mean, there's 60 odd levels. Um, each one's got gold, silver, bronze medals, depending on how well I do. It is a decent game. There's also weird uh, typing training. If you go to, where is it? Go away. Backslash basics, um, which is the actual learning how to type portion of the game, where she gives you loads of different instructions, but they're kind of tucked away. They don't make a big deal of those. So yeah, that's about it. Awesome. Okay, so there you go, I'm sure you'll agree that is the greatest game ever created, um, more or less. So, as well as the game, let's get that out of the way, get it out of my sight. Um, you also, obviously this keyboard is a Bluetooth keyboard. Now, back in the day when he first announced this, Satoru Iwata explained that since this is a Bluetooth keyboard, it works on other devices, though not all of them. So, um, I decided to try this, um, try it on my iPad, which is an over expensive way to play Angry Birds. Um, and if you go to the settings on an iPad and go to your, blue, your Bluetooth, if you hold the function key while you switch it on, you find your Nintendo wireless keyboard, pair that beast, enter, it's upside down, 9096. And now this bad boy works on your iPad, so if you want to make a note, look at that awesomeness, keys. So yeah, that's awesome. Unfortunately, I then decided to be a bit cheeky and try it on PlayStation Vita, ooh, just to see if Nintendo can make hardware for um, Sony consoles as well, a bit cheeky. Uh, Vita's having none of it. It says um, we can't understand the profile. That um, yeah, it just basically says sharp. So yeah, there we go. That is the Nintendo wireless keyboard, which comes with Learn with Pokemon Typing Adventure, um, thrilling to the core, and available from all good boutiques from around thirty-five to forty quid. Um, check out the review on the website. Thank you very much. Bye bye.